How are we today, Jason? It's a good one, Doc. Why don't we start off where we left off last time? When did you first start seeing things, Jason? After Tiffany, I started seeing things at night. Thought they were bad dreams. What would you see? The baby, alone. And that's when you decided to start drinking? No, I decided to start drinking after the baby. I didn't know you had a child with her. Yeah, had. I'm so sorry to hear that. After I lost my job in the recession, things got hard. We'd been married for two years, so most of our friends already had kids and we just did what we thought we were supposed to do. I didn't know she was sick. I didn't know having a baby would make things worse. I just did what I thought I was supposed to do. You thought you were supposed to be drinking heavily with a mentally compromised wife. You think I would have done that had I known? After the baby, we were constantly in and out of the hospital. One day, they found a lump in Tiff's arm. That was it. Just like that. Drinking didn't fix my situation. It made things worse. And I'd have these dreams with the three of us together. Me, Tiff, baby. And I'd wake up sober, I'd have to drink again. So tell me about you and Amy. How long have you two been together? I loved my wife. But after Amy left, I admit I needed help. I couldn't get out of bed. She was my wife's sister, my wife's maid of honor. She was always in the picture. I didn't know that she and I would end up a couple, but I'm glad we did. I don't know, I, I guess we needed each other. Hmm. Do you feel like Amy helped you cut down on drinking? Amy did what she could, but in the end, drinking was my problem, not hers. I had to put down the bottle. She helped me realize that there was a life after Tiff and the baby, and you know, the sun still rose each morning. And she gave me a reason to get up and keep moving. Does Amy remind you of your wife? She's not my wife. I know that. We both lost Tiff. Sometimes I can see Tiff in her when she throws her head back laughing, or when she rolls over asleep and hugs me at night. But she's not Tiff. I, I can't play house with her and pretend like nothing ever happened. And maybe that's the way it was always supposed to be, Amy and me. Maybe Tiff knew that. We both help each other, we're there for each other, and we love each other. I think it's crucial with your relationship with Amy that you're both emotionally there for each other. You've both experienced a traumatic event. It's the kind of situation that can make or break a person. Well, I was broken. I lost my wife, my job, my baby. I had nothing and no one. But one day, Amy knocked on my door. She didn't offer me baked goods. She didn't hug me. We didn't even talk. We just sat there and it was more than anyone had done for me. And at that moment, I just felt something that I hadn't felt in a long time. Amy didn't have to say a word. I felt at peace, just knowing she was there. What feeling was this? The feeling of being wanted. You know, the feeling of being loved. Although, I didn't even really know Amy, other than that she was my wife's sister. I, I felt good. That's the feeling you've been missing out on. Am I correct in assuming that? Yes. It's almost as if you could say Tiff lives in Amy. It's almost as if... Jason? You okay? Hey, Jason? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Uh, I was just looking at Amy. 
she's here now? Where is she? I don't see her, Jason. She's always with me, Doc. She's been sitting here the whole time. Amy or Tiff? Both of them. Come on, Amy. Question, standard response, so standard we forget to think. Or I like to challenge standards, catch them off guard, and make them think. Is this free? Yeah, of course. But I wouldn't advise you to sit there. See, they're watching this spot very carefully. Not exactly. Uh, a guy came with 25 cents, but he went to go get the other 75 cents. If you have two dollars, it's yours now. But you only charged him a dollar. Well, that's supply and demand. Uh, oh, look. There he is now. Okay, I'm taking it. I think I have some change in my wallet. Sorry? I mean, is this a free? Um... I, is there any problem if I sit here? I mean, yes. I'm, I mean, maybe. Um... I... I don't know. Do you want to sit over here? I'm sorry, I don't... I don't know if... Maybe over here, or... Who are you um, talking... Who are you talking to? Oh, this... This is Ben. Um... I'm sorry, what was your name? Alice. Oh, Alice. Uh, Alice, this is Ben. Ben, this is Alice. This is um, awkward. I think I better go. Oh, no, no, please, please. I insist. You can sit here. Let me take okay. that for you. Um, anyways, what I wanted to what I wanted to show you is right here on this line. Um, I don't know if it's correct. I don't know if you want to use this. Uh, you probably could change it. It looked like it would be better if it was changed. So I think we should probably change this. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Oh, is this seat free? Fuck off. Okay. Mr. Ferrano, is that your real name? What can I do for you, officer? What is this? 
was, this is a department photograph of you selling heroin on the north side. What? That ain't me, you got the wrong guy. That's you, that's your face, and those are drugs. You're selling drugs. What about that? I mean, yeah, that's my face, but I'm not dealing anything. That's your face, and those are drugs. <laughs> those are not drugs. Those are drugs, what are they? It's powdered medication, okay? Some of my clients, the diabetics. Oh they want me to God. tell you. God. Don't bullshit me, those are drugs. I've got you selling drugs. I know this. I know the Falcone crime family, the commission is outlawed to sell drugs by its capos and soldiers, yet you and your little crew sell drugs on the side. Whoa, 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 look, detective, there may be many things, but I'm not a drug dealer, all right? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who the Falcone family is. I don't know nothing about selling drugs or anything like that. Look, can I just get my phone call and be out of here? You'll get your phone call when you tell me where your boss is. My boss? <laughs> okay. Well, look, I mean, I work at a restaurant in downtown. We got the best cannolis in the city. You ought to come by sometime. Oh, my God. Cut the bullshit. Where is your boss? Look, like I said, I don't know anything about anybody named Falcone. We don't know nothing. Nope. I know this. I've got you dead to rights. You're going to do 25 to life possession and intent to distribute. All you got are some phony pictures that don't prove nothing, all right? Don't be so sure. Look, as soon as we move all this dope, there's a lot of money coming our way. Yeah, what about, uh, what about Falcone? He's gonna want a cut of this. Hey, don't worry about him, okay? We make enough money that he doesn't even need to know about this side deal. All right, this dope money's gonna be for us. You said dope, you idiot. <laughs> dope can mean anything. Money's dope. What do you want me to tell you? Hey, uh, hey, Johnny. Hey, uh, where do you want me to put this dope? You said dope again, you dope. <laughs> what do you want me to tell you? Still got nothing. Oh, my God. Well, we, we just shut your mouth. Just bring it over here. Come on. But I need, I, where, where is over here? Where do you want me to put the dope? I said over here, stop saying the word dope, come on. You can't be using that word out here, you idiot. Will you idiot, will you just shut up? Louis, shut uh, up. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, boy. But on the real though, where you want me to put this crack and this heroin? Like I was saying, I get you for possession and aiding and abetting a known criminal. Or you know what, better yet, I could just have word get back to the Falcons. Let them take care of you. How do you think that would be? I ain't no rat, all right? Listen, either way you're going to prison. And in prison, there's a lot of Falcons' enemies. How do I know that? I locked them up. What do you think's gonna happen when you're rooming with one of them? You know what happens in prison, right? You got a real pretty face. I'm gonna give you a minute to think this over. Hey, wait! Wait! What? What do you want? You know what I want. What do you want me to tell you? I want you. Look at that, to... that's that's Falcone. Okay, we got two. We got two other associates. We got Iron Mike. He carries out all the hits, and we got Lou. He deals with all the, the drugs, the gambling, the liquor, all the women. Okay, we always meet up every every Saturday night at uh, the two fifty fifty second Street, just in Upstate. All right. I mean, what else do you want me to tell you? Okay, you can you can leave. Wait, what? That's it. You can go. Get your shit and get out of my face. Leave. Jesus! Man, what, what the hell are you doing? My cousin wants to see you, Johnny. It's the end of the week and he wants his cut. Where the hell you been? I... I... I business. Uh-huh. Uh Cutting a little too close, Johnny. 
How the hell should you even get in here anyway? Don't worry about it. My cousin wants to see you. Cousin? What? What? No. Giovanni! How you doing, boss? Good to see you. Good. I'm not too good. I mean, I've been waiting for you all day. And I hear nothing. Nothing, not one peep. Not until now. I mean, but you know, you know how collections get, boss. You know, it, it took a little longer than expected. Oh, Come on. I see, I see. Hmm. What? You had time to do other things, right? What? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Giovanni, you invest in the club in Miami. You want a piece of the profits from the casinos in Vegas. And yet, you can't even hold down two blocks on the north side of town where you belong. Let's, let's, let's get Galini's on the end. <laughs> Keep crossing over to our turf, boss. I mean, what do you want me to do? They're on the other side of the bridge. Come on. Giovanni, if you cannot hold down your territory, I'm gonna have to find someone else who can. Look, I'm your guy, boss. You can trust me, I, I can do it. Do you even have my money? Yeah, yeah, of course I do. It's all in here. Uh, no, no, can I, can I go? I, I, gotta get, I gotta get back to the street. Yeah, sure. Wait, wait. There's one more thing we need to discuss. Yeah. I'm not getting my cut of the heroin. What? What? Look, I, I would never put stuff behind your back. I would never, I swear. Hmm. Well, I have someone that says otherwise. How you doing, Johnny? Oh. Pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Falcone. Pleasure is all mine. You gotta believe me. You gotta believe me. I, 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 I swear. I swear on my mother's grave. I swear on the God. I would never push dope behind your back. Look, who, who are you gonna believe? That fan or one of your biggest donors? Come on! You gotta believe me. You're really gonna be and stand right here. Look me in the eyes. And lie in my face? It's all business. I'm sorry. Giovanni. Listen. Listen. I understand. No business. But I have no place for rats in my family. I'm sorry, you know. I'm sorry. Thank you. Please, the boss, you gotta believe me. Boss, I'm telling you, you gotta believe me. Guys, no, 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 please, no, 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 You couldn't make those anymore. You know, from the detail, to the orchestra, to the content. Then this is feasible in this day and age. Wait, 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 what do you mean content? It's made for kids. Exactly. They deal with gender identity, graphic violence, and the one main character who is the greatest essential illustration of sexual assault available. That's supposed to be a pun. <laughs> so damn funny. Shut it. You can't deny that Pepper Le Pew 
glorifies sexual assault. I mean, he chases after that cat, and the cat has nothing to do with him. But he still wants to keep going at it. You know that we're talking about a cartoon for kids. Right? Hey, can we focus, please? Does anybody here even care about the sexual proclivity of a damn cartoon skunk? Hey, lighten up, would you? We're just trying to get our minds off about what's about to happen. Besides, Pepe Le Pew... Enough! Let's get to work. Oh, of course. Anything you say, Lord Jim. You're the man in charge. Tim, get up here. I think we have it. So Jim, can you finally tell us what the hell that is and why it's worth so much? Once I know that this is it, I'll explain it all out. Guys, they're here. I'm out. Get yourself out of there. Shit! What? Tim, I thought you took care of the goddamn security. You dumb shit! We gotta go. Frank, hold on to that.
Now to those creepy clown threats. A woman claims she was attacked by a man in a clown suit just this morning who then threatened to hurt students and staff at Reading schools. That prompted the district to shut down today. Not on your side, CJ Park. Get out of the way, loser. Oh, I'm so sick and tired of you bullying me. It's something about it. Yeah, yeah, she is. <laughs> but who's that? 